So at this point we've considered the transformation of bivariate discrete random variables. Now we turn to the question of transformations of bivariate continuous random variables. So in this theorem let x1 and x2 be continuous random variables with joint probability density function f of x1 x2 on the support script A. Let y1 equals g1 of x1 x2 and y2 equals g2 of x1 x2 and in many practical problems this second transformation just as before will be a dummy transformation. You'll be required to come up with a transformation that's there only for the purpose of using this transformation technique. So this is a one-to-one -one transformation from script A, support of the X's, to script B, the support of the Y's. Assume that Y1 equals G1 of X1, X2, and Y2 equals G2 of X1 and X2 can be solved uniquely and in closed form for X1 and X2 in the following fashion, which maps script B to script A. Again, a slight violation here in notation with the negative one um, for inverse. Assume further that the Jacobian of the transformation is the following. J is the determinant. So these bars right here represent the determinant of that 2 by 2 matrix. And this is dx1, dy1, dx1, dy2, dx2, dy1, and dx2, dy2. Be continuous and non-zero for all y1, y2, and element of script B. Then the joint PDF of y1 equals g1 of x1, x2, and y2 equals g2 of x1, x2 is, and this looks exactly the same as before, except for one exception. You have the absolute value of the Jacobian thrown in. So keep in mind those bars right there are absolute value bars for y1 and y2, an element of script B.